Hello and welcome to this new course in which you will learn how to interface your Arduino board with sensors in your phone. This is Asha from Educational Engineering Team. Sensors are one of the crucial things when it comes to building projects or robots. Many times the sensor might be not available locally or it might take too long to ship. Smartphones have most of the basic sensors like proximity, accelerometer, light, magnetometer, gyroscope, and other sensors. All of these sensors are embedded and we can in fact use these sensors in our Arduino projects. This can be easily used for quick prototyping. So in this course, I will show you how these sensors can be utilized and can be made to talk to Arduino through wired connection. You can apply the same knowledge and get these sensors reading wirelessly. So we are going to learn how the sensors on your Android smartphone can communicate with your Arduino. And there are a lot of sensors available on these days smartphones, but specifically we will concentrate on the most important sensors, which are about six sensors. The light sensor, the proximity sensor, the GPS sensor, the compass or magnetometer sensor, the accelerometer sensor, and the orientation sensor. Now, let's talk about what you will learn when you join this course. First, we'll talk about the main idea of this project, how we are going to connect and how to read data. We will talk about how to make a mobile app without coding. So this is like a side skill that you will learn along with this course. It's not necessary, but we need to get the sensors reading. So we have to create a mobile app and you don't need any mobile app coding experience. You will also learn how to use serial communication on Arduino and on your phone. You will learn how to use MIT App Inventor for app creation. You will learn how to write Arduino code to get data from mobile sensors and you will learn how to make physical connections between your phone and your Arduino board. We will also cover what is proximity sensor and how to use it. We will talk about what is light sensor and how to use it as well. We will also talk about the accelerometer sensor and how to use it plus the gyroscope sensor and how to use it. Then we will finish this with the magnetometer sensor and how to interface it and use it. I'm sure that by the end of this course, you will be able to create your own mobile app without coding, to interface your mobile with your Arduino board, to read sensors and send the sensor data to your Arduino board so that you can use it with any project that you are working on and you can get it done as a prototype. Thanks for watching this introduction. This is Ashra from Educational Engineering Team.